Make sure you check out the e-commerce underground Facebook group where I share even more videos and tips and we discuss about techniques and things that work right now. What's up guys, in this video I wanted to go through some of the emails that you'd probably get once you um, start to make some sales and you know you've shipped your order but because it takes like three to six weeks sometimes uh, sometimes if you're lucky they can get the product in about two weeks but sometimes you can go all the way long or go, go all the way to about six weeks and sometimes it comes to it like it gets delivered but then it goes all the way back to China so you might have to send it again and what I normally do is look these are the types of emails I've gotten in the past you know where's my order you scammer um, it's been two months and I still haven't received it you know getting a little bit more polite but generally, the, my response for all of these are the same. It's something along the lines of, Hey, Jason, uh, we ship from, uh, we supply our products from overseas so they can, so we can sell them at the best price to you. Here's your tracking number and a screenshot of your product whereabouts or location with uh, in while well, it's in transit. You know, something along the lines of that. And I'll paste them their tracking number and I'll give them a screenshot. Like I'll paste this tracking number in. In here, right? I'll paste in here. I'll click track, and it'll, it'll give me a screen. It'll give me a kind of breakdown as to where that parcel is in the process of shipping it to wherever I'm shipping it to. And you know, after that, it kind of quietens down. And no matter how angry my customers have ever gotten, I've always just said, "Hey, look, it said four to six weeks, sometimes longer." Here's the shipping details, and at one email, and they'll disappear for another one or two weeks. Generally, that's what happens. Worst case scenario, what happens is your order gets sent back from their address all the way back to China or they get a broken product or whatever it is and uh, you know in cases like that I just take the cost um, I sell a hundred products maybe five of them come back faulty or five of them get returned back um, it's just part of business you're gonna have to allocate a budget for um, you know oversupply of stock uh, stock loss damage this is part of business and that's why you know there's liquidation sales and things like that so Emails. This is how you deal with them. Um, don't freak out. You don't. You, you're not going to provide the best service for every single person. Or even if you're like Apple or someone that has the best service in the world, you're still going to find haters that just just have a really difficult personality.